Hi, I'm Rob Slash of Breslov GameSpot, and now I'm here with Infiltration and Laugh of Western Wolves Mad Cats here at the first day of the EVO World Finals in Las Vegas. I'm going to talk to Infiltration. Um, you're playing AE and Cross Tekken this weekend. You haven't played any of your matches so far. How do you think about your chances here this weekend? He, he expects to win both, or plans to win both. Now, is that a realistic expectation for you to win both? You had done well at EVOs previously. You proved yourself that you could win on the big stage. But going in this year, there's more competitors than ever before. What do you think your realistic chances are? Now that he's thought about it again realistically, I, he thinks he's going to win both. <laughs> uh, what are your hardest matchups, both in, in characters and players, that you think you'll play this weekend? Uh, he feels that Ryu, Kuma, Kami, and Fei Long are some of the tougher matchups for him. And he, he doesn't feel like there's any specific player that he feels is tougher to beat because everyone is so strong here. So the only players he doesn't want to face are his own teammates or you know, his uh, own countrymen and so on. Now, you've done well at EVO before, even taking third you know, two years ago. Do you think that'll help you and how you're going to perform this weekend because you've been on this stage before? Uh, two years ago was his first uh, international uh, tournament trip, and although it really did help him uh, level up on big tournaments like this, big tournament stages, but he's been attending a lot of tournaments all over the world, and he can't just say two, EVO two years ago was the sole reason he's going to have a better, better chance on stage this year. So now, I talk a lot about, and the community talks a lot about, the rivalry between USA and Japan and how that fits in fighting games. But the Korean players and you guys have really shown a lot lately and have stepped it up uh, in Punko, of course, last year, where Korea is right in the mix now of the top nations. Uh, how do you feel about where Korea fits in in the current fighting game landscape? Although it's been very well known that US and Japan has been known for their uh, top class players. Uh, he's always felt that Korea has always had talent and strong players. It's just that they've never had the chance to shine on international stage until recently. And on the topic of where Korea stands among other uh, continents and countries, he feels that the level of uh, the level of top players in each country are so strong right now that nobody has a safe footing or a higher footing, in his opinion, that everybody is at risk. All right, thank you for tracing. Good luck in the tournament.